This presentation is about the preliminary validation of Tonatiu, a computer program for the simulation of the optical behavior of solar concentrating systems. First, I will introduce Tonatiu and explain its design goals. Then I will explain the approach we are following in developing the program. After that, I will present the current status of the program. Once this is done, I will discuss the results of a comparison between Tonatiu and Soltrace a computer program which has been extensively validated against experimental data. With the development of Tonatiu, we want to help all those interested in designing better solar concentrating systems to achieve their goals. We want to do this by providing them free access to an advanced optical analysis program that will help them to get a deep understanding of the consequences of their design decisions on the optical performances of the systems they are designing. The Tonatiu project aims to develop a program that is not only able to simulate most solar concentrating systems of interest, but that is easy to learn, use and maintain, and that is also easy to improve and extend. The most distinctive characteristics of the approach we are following in implementing Tonatiu are the commitment to make the development of Tonatiu a full-fledged open-source project. The decision to code Tonatiu in C++ using object-oriented techniques. And the intention to leverage the functionality provided by well-established open-source libraries and tools. The extensive use of well-established open-source libraries makes it possible to make Tonatiu operating system independent. Exactly the same Tonatiu source code compiles under Linux, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Macintosh Operating System X. To deploy Tonatiu as a full-fledged open-source project, and to make it available to anyone interested in using or contributing to it, we have created a series of internet resources, most of them based on Google's infrastructure. The main project website and Tonatiu's user group website are hosted at Google Code. The official blog of the core development team is hosted at Google's Blogspot, and the Tonatiu video channel is hosted at Google's YouTube. The current status of Tonatiu can be summarized as follows. The core retracing and plugin functionalities of the program are fully implemented, tested, and operational. The program can already be used to model a large variety of reflective concentrating systems, including dishes, parabolic troughs, and central receiver systems, and it is starting to gain momentum as an open source project. People around the world are using it, reporting bugs, and providing feedback. Once we have reviewed the goals, implementation approach, and current status of Tonatiu, we are ready to present the results of the comparison between Tonatiu and Soltrace a program developed by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory and REL that, like Tonatiu, can be used to simulate the optical behavior of solar concentrating systems. One important characteristic of Soltrace is that it has been experimentally validated by UNREL based on data from experiments carried out at UNREL's high concentration solar furnace and elsewhere. Other characteristics of Soltrace are the following. It is code in Borland Delphi. It is a Monte Carlo ray tracer. It is targeted only to the Windows operating system. And it has a relatively simple graphics user interface. Although it is not open source, Soltrace is available free of charge at the RELS website and can be used for commercial purposes without many restrictions. In contrast to Soltrace, Tonatiu's code in C++. It is targeted to the Windows, Linux, and Macintosh operating system X, and it has a very sophisticated graphics user interface. It is open source and has a plugin architecture that makes it very easy to span and customize. The comparison between Tonatiu and Soltrace, whose results we are presenting here, consist in simulating three different concentrating systems of interest with both programs and comparing the results obtained. The simulated systems were a parabolic dish, a parabolic trough, and a rails high concentration solar furnace. 
For each one of these systems, we compare the estimates produced by tonality on salt trace for the total power at the target or receiver, the frequency distribution of photons as a function of target position or receiver angle, and the absolute maximum flux density reached on the target or receiver. For the parabolic dish, as the graph shows, the power at the target estimates of tonality on salt trace were always very close to each other, even for relatively low numbers of photons cast. The differences in the final estimates of the frequency distributions of photons at the target were more significant, however. In terms of the solar flux distribution at the target, these differences translate into a higher peak and a smaller effective radius in the flux distribution estimated by Tonatiu compared to the one estimated by Soltrace. Regarding the maximum flux density, the differences between Tonatiu and Soltrace were less than 2.4% once the number of photon cast reached 1 million, and it never exceeds 8% even for very low numbers of photon cast. In the case of the parabolic trough, the differences in the power of the target estimates of tonatiu and salt trace were negligible once the number of photon casts reached 20,000, which is a relatively low number of photons for a Monte Carlo trial. Regarding the frequency distribution of photons, the estimates produced by tonatiu and salt trace were almost identical once the number of photons cast reached 2 millions. As shown in the graph, the differences in the maximum flux density estimates of both programs were negligible once the number of photon casts reached 1 million. For the real solar furnace, the results obtained were very similar to those already shown. The differences in the power at the target estimates were almost negligible. The final estimates of the frequency distribution of photons were almost identical and the differences in the estimates of the maximum flux density were negligible once the number of photon casts reached 1 million. In conclusion, the comparison between Donatio and Soltrace shows that both programs generate basically identical results when simulating reflective solar concentrating systems, and that both programs need approximately to cast the same amount of photons to reach valid estimates. I would like to finish this presentation acknowledging the support that the National Renewable Energy Laboratory of the United States, the University of Texas at Brownsville, and the National Renewable Energy Center of Spain are providing to the development and validation of Tonatiu.